Welcome to Listpedia. Did that sound super heroic? All right, I'll work on it. It's time to count down the top 10 comic book superhero games. This list covers all gaming systems and covers games based only on Marvel and DC characters. Crossovers like the Marvel vs. Capcom series have not been included. Number 10. Spider-Man 2 for GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. The second Spider-Man film by Sam Raimi still stands today as the most acclaimed in the film franchise. Thanks, Spider-Man. The video game adaptation for home consoles also stands out as one of the best titles based on a comic book character. Go ahead. Go ahead. This action game is best known for the amazing physics of Spider-Man's web swinging where players have to find something to latch the web onto. Go ahead. What are you, chicken? Muck, 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 muck. There are also numerous missions played out against the beautiful backdrop of New York City. Good job, Spidey. No problem, Get officer. Anytime. Number 9. The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction Bruce Banner, a.k.a. The Hulk, is a fan favorite in the MCU movies, played endearingly by Mark Ruffalo. Marvel Studios has yet to greenlight a standalone Hulk film after 2008's The Incredible Hulk due to the character's complicated film rights. When, if I came into town, everyone would be in danger. Thankfully, this action game allows fans to bask in the glory of Hulk as they control him in an open-world environment free for exploration and destruction. That's ridiculous. A lot of destruction. If the Hulk's normal attacks are not super enough for players, they can also utilize one of his five devastator attacks that can easily clear away anything. Hulk smash indeed. Number 8. X-Men 1992 Arcade Game X-Men This X-Men arcade game features only six playable characters, but that didn't stop players from flocking to the arcades back in the day in order to get the chance to take down Magneto and the Sentinels. This game features a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up gameplay that makes use of close combat attacks for each character. The mutant powers of each character can only be used sparingly since health is decreased with every use. This system prevents players from spamming their way through each level using mutant powers only. Nobody likes a cheater, bub. Number 7. The Punisher from 2005 the Punisher is one of several comic book characters that are hard to adapt to the big screen. Its two recent film adaptations were flops. And don't do anything to me. Probably somewhat due to the excessive violence that defines the character. This shooter game, published by THQ, doesn't shy away from all the violence that the Punisher can inflict. In fact, it's part of the gameplay. The game features a torture system that allows players to inflict violence on poor enemies in order to weed out information. Ah, I don't know nothing. The explicitness of the system caused the game to be threatened by the ESRB. You've done the right thing, Soap, all along. Number six, X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition. The film, X-Men Origins Wolverine, proved that a fan-favorite character is not automatically guaranteed success on the big screen, no matter how big a hit in previous installments. The film may have flopped and threatened to derail the X-Men film franchise, but its video game adaptation is far from being a disappointment. 
Got any other surprises up your sleeve? Inspired by games like the God of War series, Raven Software completely adapted the ferocity of Wolverine in the uncaged edition of this hack and slash game by adding the blood and gore that comes with every swipe of those claws. Number 5. LEGO Batman 2 – DC Superheroes Even in blocky appearance, Batman still exudes awesomeness, proving that comic book characters do not have to be directly adapted from the pages in the most faithful visual form. This action-adventure game from Traveler's Tales places the player in control of the Dark Knight and 70 other playable DC characters in an open-world Gotham City. Interactive objects are scattered throughout the game in the form of blocks, which can be broken up and rebuilt in order to access areas and help solve problems. Problem number one. Where does he get all those wonderful toys? Number 4. X-Men Legends 2 – Rise of Apocalypse <laughs> Nice trick. What do you do for an encore? The X-Men universe, for the most part, has always been divided between Professor X's X-Men team and Magneto's Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. It appears we both have a grievance. That trend was temporarily set aside in the second X-Men film, X2, where mutants from opposing sides joined forces to defeat a common enemy. Once again, I am victorious! And it was again repeated in this action role-playing game that allowed players to control mutants such as Storm and Wolverine, alongside villains Juggernaut and Toad, to take on the super mutant Apocalypse. Question is, who's gonna save you? The game is team-based and each mutant can be leveled up to further unlock variations of their mutant powers. Let's keep moving! Number 3. Injustice – Gods Among Us What would happen if Superman suddenly decided to use his powers for bad? It's a question that's always bugged DC fans. Luckily, they can get a good glimpse of it in this fighting game, which features a story that places Superman on the bad end of a Justice League assault. The game was developed by NetherRealm Studios, so the overall feel of the game is tinged with Mortal Kombat aura, especially in the character designs. The game has interactive environments that players can utilize, like picking up a car, Superman's case, and hurling it towards the opponent. Number 2. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 Remember in the Avengers film when Captain America, using his shield, reflected Iron Man's beams? Or in Avengers Age of Ultron, when Cap's shield was used by Thor to make sound waves when he hit it with his hammer. Boom! It's awesome. Those combination attack moments are what make fans giggle with delight. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 is an action role-playing game that allows players to perform similar combo attacks called fusions in the game. Boasting more than 20 playable characters, there are numerous combos that players can use on the field. We're outnumbered. Work together. Smash them all at once. And our number one comic book game, Batman Arkham Knight. Why? Because it's Batman. Pretty much sums it up right there. But seriously, the Batman Arkham video game series did what Christopher Nolan's film trilogy did to the world's most famous cape detective bring him back to mainstream popularity and create a new standard for others to try and emulate. The series is marked for its dark and gritty aesthetics, coupled with an excellent narrative and combat system. The current installment of the video game series, Arkham Knight, gives players something never employed in previous games. 
the ability to fully utilize the famed Batmobile. You go, but you said you'd hit him. Players can summon this badass vehicle to aid the Cape Crusader as he takes on Gotham's worst villains.